Hello viewers, welcome to Uncut Africa Live, a channel that brings you great content coming from all corners of Africa. I'm your guide, Digraft Amuakon. Since Russian-Ukraine war, most African countries and their leaders have been oddly quiet. I mean, we are trying to mind our own business and also stay neutral. It seems this behavior isn't going down well with most Western media, so anytime they meet any African influenza, they try to chip in questions concerning African stance on Russian-Ukraine war. Recently, a DW journalist met with Mr. Mo Ibrahim, who is a Sudanese and a Britain billionaire and also the founder of CERTEL. During their interview, this journalist decided to chip in some questions on African stance on Russian-Ukraine war, and it seems things didn't go down well with Mr. Mo Ibrahim, so he decided to roast the journalist. Let's watch this video. I'll be back. In a, in a number of Western countries, there's been consternation that some African countries have been ambivalent, or in the case of South Africa, neutral over Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Is this payback for the West, for the, for the wrongs of the colonial era? Is that why? No, 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 it's not the colonial era. Tim, let's be frank. The resolution, American resolution, called f for the uh, 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 condemning the uh, violation of the sovereignty of another country. Of Ukraine. Of Ukraine. Yep. And many African people said, excuse me, what did America do in Iraq? Was that legal? Yes. Was that not breach of security, sovereignty of another country? So why don't they condemn both? Then? Exactly. But from U.S. to put this resolution forward was a little bit really unwise. <laughs> I think Germany should have put this resolution because Germany <laughs> objected to the invasion of Iraq. But it's wrong for U.S. to put this resolution because then, excuse me, you are a hypocrite. But it's neutral. <laughs> you, you realized, you know, these are leaders that are bold to speak their mind. I'm sorry, but these this leaders, we need more of these leaders in Africa who are able to speak their mind without any fear. Let me not bore you. Let's continue. Neutral, really, the side that uh, yeah, Africa but, no, wants but, to but, be but, on? Can you see the point? Either there is either there are international rules or no rules. You tell me. Are the rules only applies to Russia, not the U.S.? Let's not be hypocrite. This is the problem. This is the problem. We need to look at the mirror sometimes and realize what we say and what we do. What happened in Libya? We went and broke this country. We never put it together again. Is that acceptable? What do you make? Look, I, I, let us be honest and dealing with this stuff. So it's not like the West is little quiet and all romantic. Nobody's and, saying that. Nobody's okay. Saying that. So don't lecture. Don't lecture other people and say, you. look, I condemn, and I think it is a problem, it is unacceptable for Russia to invade Ukraine. And there's no question. But in the same breath, I'll condemn American invasion of, of Iraq because this is, is equivalence. And we need to remember that. And I just hope that people, when they talk about international rules, this should apply to everybody. There's no exceptionalism. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. These are the type of leaders we need in Africa. Bold. You know, the hypocrisy of the West is, you know, is something... If we try to go deep, we may end up deleting our YouTube channel because 
recently, whatever you see, people start reporting your channel and at the time you realize you uh, you start having issues with YouTube and all that thing. But the hypocrisy of the Western countries are just amazing. What I can say is, you know, Africa is no pushovers again. You can't just push over Africa and say, okay, uh, our enemies now, US, our enemies are now, Af should be African enemies. That's not possible. Now we are all wise. Now we can read between the lines and take our own decisions. Most Africans are not saying what Russia is doing in Ukraine. It's a good idea. But we are trying to also say, don't force us to align with you. Because you also, some years back, made your hands dirty. And people couldn't people couldn't criticize you and you went ahead and destroyed a lot of country including libya so forcing africans to condemn russia or condemn ukraine is not something africans are going to buy again you have to let let africans decide whom they, they will support or try to stay neutral. Because we have seen and understood the world politics. Please share your view in the comment section and let me know what you think of this interview between the DW journalist and Mr. Mo Ibrahim. Don't forget to also subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification button so that anytime we upload any great content, you will be notified. Thanks for watching.